if I beat an A player, does that mean I'm an A player? Somebody asked me that in my comments and I wanted to get on here and talk about that subject. It's a good question. And I wanna say before answering that, we have to look at the ranking system. You know, what makes somebody an A player? What makes somebody a B player? This might ruffle some feathers. Some people might, might not like this, but the ranking is very unofficial. And you have guys who have gotten the appreciation, they've gotten the recognition for achieving a top level of play. And then those guys can never play handball again. Yet, you know, when they come back, they'll be considered a quote unquote, a player. Now that's not the case with the A player I beat. Um, he still very much plays, but in general, you know, we have to look at that before we even get into the discussion of, you know, if you beat an A, does that make you an A? It definitely, I'd say, you know, depending on, it depends on who it is, right? Depends on who it is. And I would say the one thing that separates the players from my experience who have gotten the recognition for playing at that top level is that they're able to play at a top level more consistently than other players for the most part, right? For the most part. And again, it's a very, very unofficial system. I don't even know the, I don't even know that the requirements are like publicly known. You know what I mean? It's a group of guys who say, hey, this person's been winning a lot. We've seen him beating the other guys who we consider, you know, top level players. And so we think he's, you know, we think we want to recognize him as a solidified, you know, A player. Um, super beautiful outside, by the way. On a side note, I haven't been outside like this just on a walk in a while. And man, it's, it's just so, it's just so refreshing. Gotta get outside every now and then, especially with the, you know, the streaming and stuff. I gotta remember, you guys gotta remember too. We all gotta remember to get outside and just touch base with, with our roots. Look at some trees and stuff, touch some grass. Um, but back to the question, does it make me an A player if I be an A player? It me, it, it, it makes, let me reword that. Does it mean I'm an A player if I beat an A player? It means that I was able to play at a high level, you know, on a particular day, right? So every dog has their day. And when you train and, you know, you put in the time, the practice, you're able to achieve a high level of play, whether or not people recognize it or not. You know, whether or not the people, you know, who do the A cards notice you or not. If you're if you're playing at that high level of play, you're playing at that high level of play. You know, it is what it is. If they see it, are you, you know, we can't say that you're only an A player if you're recognized by these people. So that's my thoughts on that. Hope that clears it up and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go play handball later.